Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be uh, replacing the Chevy emblem on this uh, 2019 Chevy Suburban. Uh, I purchased both of the emblems online on eBay for about 40 bucks. I got the front one, and I'm gonna be doing the back emblem. So let's get started. The tools I'll be using are these trim and molding tools. Uh, you can purchase these online or your nearest Harbor Freight. I purchased them in store at Harbor Freight. They have two different sets, so I got both of them. We're gonna see which one works better. All right, let's try to pop this open. You gotta do it carefully so that way you don't bust your... Oh, there you go. oh came all in one piece. There it is right there. That's the old one. You, see, you can see I tried to paint it, but it didn't hold too well. So I just went ahead and bought a brand new one. This is the new one right here. And the back one. I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. That's the back one, which is a bit smaller. This is the front one. I'm going to go ahead and install it. Want to make sure it goes straight. You don't want to break any of the clips or anything. There it goes. Perfect fit. We're going to move on to the back one now. All right, guys. Now I'm going to do the back. You can see how some of the paint, I kind of just taped it off and spray painted it, but it doesn't hold really well. So we're going to go ahead and take this one off. Seems to come off easier if you go from the bottom of it. So we're doing it from the bottom seems to get a little bit better from down there. I think these are actually glued on. Try to clean all this off just before we install the new one. So I grabbed one of the thicker trim pieces and I'm going to try to take some of the glue off without scratching my vehicle. Seems like it's taking it off. It's kind of hard, but it is coming off. Trying to take it out all in one piece. Hopefully I could get it to come off. Got most of it off. Alright guys, what I'm going to use is just a regular rag, and I've heard that nail polish remover works really well, or also like paint thinner will clean it off really well too, so it's up to you. I don't have no paint thinner. I haven't grabbed none, so I'm going to use this. Let's see how it works. It 
Seems to be taking off sticky stuff pretty well. Got it all cleaned up. There's still a little bit of stuff there, but it should be fine. It's going to get covered anyways. Try to do as best as I can. So I kind of damped my rag. Maybe we can get more of it off. There's still a little bit on there. Not able to completely take it off, but it should still stick fine. Using a dry rag to dry it off before I put the new one on there. Sticker shows you an arrow. You have to put it up, so it's gonna go something like this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. I'm gonna try to line it up straight as possible centered there it goes this song is pretty good there it is looks like it's stuck pretty good it's right on there it's even finished product and that's the tools that I use right there this is the old ones you see the paint didn't hold that well that's why I ordered the new ones online I'll put the link in the description and yeah well said so uh, don't forget to like subscribe comment down below and I'll try to answer you guys questions as quick as possible thank you for watching <laughs>